All right. So the next question, if you comb your hair and the comb becomes positively charged, then your hair becomes what? So, so if you have a comb, so it looks something like this, and maybe it has like a bunch of spikes, and you're combing, you know, your hair. Maybe you have long luscious hair and you're combing it. So here we know that the comb becomes positively charged. So we know there's a positive charge on the comb. On the hair, what kind of charge are we getting? So you really only have three options that you can answer here, either positive, negative, or I guess neutral. So no charge. So whenever you're rubbing two materials on each other, you're going to have a transfer of electrons. So there, there won't be a transfer of positive um, charges. It will only be a transfer of electrons. So here, because we have a positive charge on the comb, in order for this to happen, electrons need to be moving from the comb into your hair. So we have a bunch of electrons just from frictional friction forces. They're moving from the comb, entering your hair, and you're getting that positive charge of the comb. So because you're adding more electrons to your hair and your hair would be initially be just neutrally charged, your charge is going to be negative. So you're going to get a negative charge in your hair. So that's kind of the way to think about it. So for any materials, you're trying to think about how is the electron transfer occurring. Um, since we end up with a positively charged comb, we'll end up with a negatively charged hair. So, so when two objects come in contact with each other, then due to changes in electric charge, the positive charge is built up in one object and negative in the other. This is also due to the build of static electricity. When hair is combined, is combed, sorry, then the unwanted electrons from hair go into the comb and hair acquires a positive charge. Now both hair and comb attract each other. After combining the comb becomes negatively charged because each material has a tendency to lose or gain electrons. So here they kind of have it backwards. So if you comb your hair and the comb becomes so becomes positively charged, then your hair becomes negatively charged. So here they say when hair is combed, then the unwanted ultras from the hair go into the comb and hair acquires a positive charge. See, that wouldn't really make sense because here we have a positively charged comb. So, correct thought process, incorrect answer, mixed up hair and comb, it sh should be the opposite the comb is positively charged sorry becomes possibly so becomes positively charged therefore your hair will become negatively charged so the answer is correct the process the thought process is correct but the answer is just mixed up so it's just the answer should just be the opposite. So let's 